This is Andrew Shibata, member of the Matador boxing team. Andrew is set to have his first amateur fight on April 9th. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. It's still a pretty big goal. Beneath that nine anticipation lies a staunch physical reminder of a different time. I knew that I had some problems. I had bad cases of vertigo, bad migraines. I was taking seven, eight pain pills a day. Friday has long reigned above all holiday shopping days. Now, a new generation of consumers appears to be pushing the calendar. Millennials and young adults have really been the ones leading the way for this Thanksgiving night shopping tradition. It's a lot easier for, uh, for people this age to ditch the dishes. Thursday isn't the new black yet, but Thanksgiving is expected to bring in a lot of green. We know last year, 35 million shoppers were out in stores and shopping online on Thanksgiving Day, and we're fully expecting to see just as many people this year. That's still a fraction of the 97 million shoppers expected on Black Friday, but an increasing number of retailers are acknowledging the earlier kickoff. Even if they're not opening brick and mortar doors, the National Retail Federation says more than half will have Thanksgiving specials online, catering to new shopping preferences and stretching this year's shorter span between Black Friday and Christmas Eve. You may not have to sleep out um, at the doorstep of your favorite store for Black Friday anymore. The, you know, the, the, the turf is changing now and, can, and retailers are making it much more convenient for the consumer to shop in the way that works best for them. For online shoppers, the really big day will be Cyber Monday, December 2nd, when 8 in 10 retailers will offer deals. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.